Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Tatiana. I do all things motherhood. I like to do haul videos, cleaning videos, etc. So today I'm going to be showing you what I got my kids for Easter. And I told myself that I wouldn't go all out. Um, but I tell myself that with like every holiday and then I just end up getting like a lot of stuff. So I told myself I wasn't going to go all out. And of course I lost track of the things that I got. I don't think I did too bad. I don't think I got too many things. Um, just like a little FYI, I am doing laundry and the laundry room is very close to my room. So you might hear some weird sounds. That's what it is. So anyways, let's get into it. So I had this idea where I would maybe do an extra basket for everyone. So things that everyone could use. Um, and for that, I might not do like an actual extra basket, although I do have one. I got these magnetic tiles on Amazon. They're 60 pieces. Um, I'm a preschool teacher if I haven't mentioned that before. So these are really, really popular with pretty much every age group. I think my 15 month old, I think she'll get into them. She's super into, um, manipulatives and stuff like that. These were a really good price. These were less than 30 bucks. So I thought I would start off with the 60 piece because a lot of the times the kids are complaining about like how they're bored if they're not on their tablets and stuff. So I wanted to find something that both my daughter and my stepson could use. Um, and I just thought this was like a really good idea and very inexpensive. Next, I had seen one of my Instagram moms that I follow post these and they are the little, I don't know what they're called. I can like put the link in the description, but they're almost like, um, I don't want to say they're like an Etch-a-Sketch, but kind of. So these, I actually got a really good deal on these. I got four of these for, I think it was like less than $20 because some of them were like going for $16 a piece. And I just think that's ridiculous. So this one has an unlock button and you can draw. Oh, I have my pen. I don't know what I'm doing. You can draw. on it, which I think is so cool for the car. I really don't like for the kids to have their tablets all the time. I think if they're doing it in the car, then it's fine. But um, I'm sorry, not in the car, at home. Sorry guys, so I got interrupted because I got a call for an appointment that I have coming up. But anyways, I was showing you these cute little, um, let me see if it says the description on the box. LCD writing screens, I think is what they're called. And there's pink, purple, red and green or something like that in here, blue and green. Um, and then you just hit this trash button. And how cute is that? And it's so thin. Like you could put it in your diaper bag, a backpack. Um, and it's just perfect for every age group. So that's why I bought them. Cause I was like, I can even use it for my 15 month old. Um, and like I said, it was very inexpensive. Next, I got these really nice dot a dot art bingo daubers. Um, I got these for $13 at Marshall's. These have the scent to them, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, I know my 15 month old will like it. And I know my, my daughter Felicity will like it um, just because it has like a scent. And I actually got, I put one in my 15 month old's basket, which I will show you. Um, but yeah, it didn't fit. I got two packs just because we have three kids, so you can never have too many. I contemplated getting another pack, which I probably will pick up the other pack. Um, I'm just that mom. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've been a teacher for so long, but anyway, so I got these great deal, right? Um, next let's just move into the Easter baskets. So this is my 15 month old Easter basket. I got these little baskets at five below. They were $3. So freaking cute. So cute. I thought that I was going to have to get bigger Easter baskets. Um, I save my kids Easter baskets and I just reuse them year after year 
because I think it's silly getting new ones every year. I might as well just invest and get like a nice Easter basket that we can continuously use. I have not been questioned about it. I might eventually, <laughs> but they haven't. So let's get into what I got her. So I found these really cool body wash Crayola pens in the Target dollar section. And they're kind of like the Target dollar paints, except, so I got them in like every color they had. And then I got a red or orange or whatever, but it squeezes out. Oops, I'm sorry. I have to do the tip. So the tip comes out. Oh, I'm sorry, it opens up. So you untwist it and then they can like squeeze. This might be a little bit harder for my 15 month old, um, just because it requires a lot of fine motor skills. So like pushing together, which requires a lot of strength and she might not have, you know, any right now. But I figured it was like a cute thing to get for the future. I got her this really cute Eric Carl um, storybook, section storybook. So it comes with the little characters in here. And then you can place them on the images, which I really liked. And I thought this was cute. This was $5 at TJ Maxx. <clears throat> and then I got these bingo daubers. These are the rainbow ones. Bingo daubers, I don't think a lot, like unless you're really in the education field, you know about bingo daubers. And if you do bingo, I guess. But I find that a lot of parents don't know about bingo daubers, but they're such a great, um, <clears throat> like art medium to use because they can get just the slightest bit messy, but they're like a, a really good cross in between like a stamp pad and a marker, but I freaking love them. So definitely consider bingo daubers and they're great for every age. So those were $13 at Marshall's. I got this really cute parachute at five below for $5. Once again, the teacher and me, you could do so many activities with this. Um, this is a six foot, six inch, six foot. Yeah, six foot. And it has nine um, handles. So awesome. This is a steal for five bucks. Next, I got her this little peep Play-Doh. I got this in the Target dollar section. I got her the cute little lint milk chocolate duck. I get all my kids the lint ones. I love lint. And then I got her this really cute water wow um, flip pad or whatever. And this is good for like the car. And then I also got my kids, I invested and I got these really nice electric toothbrushes. Don't judge me. Um, but I got them mainly because I just want to make toothbrushing fun. Um, and my stepson's not a big fan of toothbrushing. So I figured if I made it like fun and like something that you could look forward to and something like cool, then it wouldn't be a struggle. He does a great job here. Uh, but I got these Burst Kids, um, Sonic toothbrushes and it comes with a rechargeable base. I believe that like one charge can last for four weeks or something like that. So you don't always have to have them continuously charging. I got this pink one for Ophelia for my 15 month old. I got the purple one for Felicity, my eight year old. And then the blue one is in my stepson's basket. But um, they actually had a Coco Melon one and I contemplated getting it for my, my 15 month old. But this is like, like I said, it's an investment. This is something that should last your kids a very long time. I signed up for the subscription for them to send me the replacement um, brush heads every 12 weeks. So that's the recommended um, by the ADA. It's you should replace your toothbrush or tooth head every 12 weeks. So it's nice that I can do that and I don't have to like worry. They'll just send it to me. So with that being said, I think it's like $7 per toothbrush tooth head. So it ends up being a little less than 30 bucks every 12 weeks, which is like, I don't care. It's not a big deal to me. Um, if it has to do with health and wellness, I will pay however much I feel comfortable. These were on promotion. I think there were 40 each. Um, 
I wait, I can do like a review. This isn't like sponsored or anything. I can most certainly do a review, but it was just very appealing to me and I think the kids will love it. So I got each one of them a toothbrush. Um, let's get into, oh, and I almost forgot. I also got Ophelia, this chunky puzzle. I got this at TJ Maxx. And how much was it? It was $8, which is a really good steal for Coco Melon. Um, and it's very age appropriate because it has big chunky pieces. So it, it'll be easy for her to use. So that's another thing. Cause she kind of went through the space where she loved Coco Melon and then she like didn't, she's like over him. I also got this Zen Garden Sensory Tub, which I was gonna put in Ophelia's, um, what do you call it? Easter basket, but obviously it doesn't fit. I got this at five below for $5. It looks to have a lot of great things. They only had one other option. Um, I don't remember what it was. Anytime you do any kind of sensory activity before anyone like comments if they do, I don't know. Um, just be mindful of what is in the activity. Like these little water beads obviously can be a choking hazard or she can put them up her nose. So just offer the proper supervision. I am very big into letting your children play with anything and everything just because it meets a need that they have um, of curiosity and exploration so you can most certainly let them play with 90 percent of the things you know granted with enough supervision right so yes i got this i will probably just give it to her because it doesn't fit um next i got felicity the same um little easter basket she actually has one in her closet I've, that I've used for years and years, but I wanted the girls to kind of match. So let's see. I got her this cute little flavored lip balm peep keychain thing. On the back, you can put the um, chapstick, which I thought was really cute. I got her these little Hershey's M&M things. They're not M&Ms. I didn't realize that. They're like Hershey's drops, which is funny. I got her these colorful, colorful fountain pens because she's gotten into like journaling. So I got these at five below and they were $5. I also got these 3D erasers and these were, th oh, these were only a dollar and I got these at five below as well. I got her a lot of stuff for journaling. I also, these stickers from five below, really cute. Cause she's like at that age where she's into like her iPad. It's like, she's like that. She's almost a tween. Would she be considered a tween? Like, do you have to be 12? I don't know. But I feel like kids these age are getting older, younger. I got, um, hair chalk. I got this at TJ Maxx and we've done hair chalk before. So I think she'll really enjoy this. This was $7. If you're keeping tab, I got the lint chocolate bunny. I also got her this like Amazon dupe Apple pen. She's been asking for one. This was a little less than, I think this was pretty cheap. It was like 20 bucks, but she's been asking for one. So I got her this cute little peep plush gift set with the peeps. I also got her a little peep Play-Doh. I got her these really cute Stampables scented double ended stamp markers. So one end is a marker and then the other end is a stamp. And if you are an 80s and 90s baby, then you know we used to have these. So it's like they're coming back, which is like nostalgic. I was like, oh my gosh, these are so freaking cute. I remember wanting like these so bad. Um, these were seven dollars. And then I got her these sour patch kid bunnies. And I also got her these headphones from Five Below. They're squishimals. I'm not sure how well they work. I thought they were wicked cute, five dollars. But um, anytime my stepson comes over, they'll both sit in the living room with their iPads, and you can't watch TV because they're like all you hear is their iPads. So we actually bought both of them headphones. My fiance decided to give them to my stepson a little bit earlier, which I was kind of annoyed because I'm like, well. That was part of his Easter gift, but you know, men will be men. And then for my stepson, um, he has his toothbrush in here. Oh, I also got um, Felicity the double bubble egg shaped bubble gum. We got him a lint chocolate as well. 
a Sour Patch Kids Bunny thing and the stylus pen um, and the Hershey Drop It's. I think I'm going to go to Marshall's later and pick him up. Like maybe one more thing to put in here just because we don't have the headphones now. So, you know, I don't want it to like look empty. But that is what we got. So I wanted to pop on here and say that I did end up going to Marshall's and I did pick up my stepson a pair of swim trunks, which are actually in my bedroom. And Ophelia's sleeping in there, so I can't show you right now. But I did get these a bunch of balloons as well. Um, I know he'll like really love these when the weather starts getting warmer. So this is another thing that I wanted to throw in his basket. Um... It was kind of hard, especially with my stepson, because he's just so into his like iPad now. So it's tough finding things for, you know, their school age age group that they're really going to use and enjoy. Um, obviously, my 15 month old was like super easy, but, you know, I don't feel like I got too much and I'm pretty happy that I got things that are useful um, and have purpose. And I didn't get like a bunch of just like crap to shove it in there. So I hope you guys have your Easter baskets done. If you haven't, maybe I gave you some ideas. You can still order things on Amazon. Um, I know when I went to Target and Marshalls and stuff, they were pretty stocked. I think this may be your last weekend, like bet to get the things that you really want. Because once it starts getting closer, obviously, you know they tend to like run out of things or the good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I have more videos. I know I've been absent, but please stick around, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.